Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about what they're thinking, feeling about you, how they view you or this connection, and what do they wish they could tell you? What are their intentions towards you? We'll look at all of that today. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? In love. What messages do you have for Virgo? So I'm gonna get some of your energies first. And then we'll jump right in. What is Virgo thinking or feeling at this time when it comes to this connection spirit? Blossoming abundance. Okay. Some sort of growth. That's what I thought of immediately. Okay. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are their energies this time? Wow, man holding a heart. This person loves you, Virgo, or you are thinking about making this person some sort of an offer of love. So what's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies for Virgo and this other person? Mutual energies, please. Victory, wow, okay. Recognition, success. And bottom of the deck, woman holding a heart. What is going on? <sighs> this is amazing. Okay. So clearly there's potential here for growth, for abundance, for success. Um, and I'm picking up that you mirror each other in some way. Uh, either you feel the same exact way about each other, or you want to say the same thing to each other make the same type of offer, whatever. All right, let's get some more information. Tell me more for Virgo about these energies. Tell me more about these energies for Virgo, please. Tell me about blossoming abundance. Tell me about blossoming abundance, please. Seven of Pentacles. Yes, this is about growth, investment, effort time being put into something to watch it grow investment into something that has potential tell me about man holding a heart the world wow totally new cycle here the ending of a cycle to start a new one this person it could be coming to see you, Virgo, because I have you, Virgo, on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more because the energies can be flipped, but this is you, Virgo, and this is your person for me. So I feel like this is someone that could be coming to see you or is somebody that wants a whole new cycle with you. Why is victory? Here, tell me more about victory. Knight of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like there's delays. Delays in maybe an offer being made. Maybe there are financial delays. Six of Cups reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Could be financial. But someone's focused, motivated with victory. So I don't think these delays are forever. And I don't think that they're going to really slow someone down all that much. So let's get, of course I draw my crystal all the way on the floor. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. Right, Sanchez, guys. What messages do you have for Virgo? So like I said earlier, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. Feel free to check out my playlist for Virgo. I have a whole playlist where I've done past readings for you guys. All right, so let's get into this. Tell me about Virgo's energies in this connection spirit. Tell me about how Virgo is thinking or feeling in this connection. Wheel of Fortune reverse. So maybe it hasn't been all that easy for you, Virgo. But again, with like the moving forward, not being like stopped. I feel like this is like victory card right here. 
the higher font. Why is the higher font here? Contracts, commitments. You could have been in a commitment, Virgo, with this person or are in a commitment outside of this person. Perhaps this is the challenge or there's a commitment in the way or expectations. Tell me about Virgo's person. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Taurus. Ten of Pentacles reversed again. Lack of stability, family problems. Tell me about Virgo's person. Broken commitments. The moon reverse. I keep getting the moon reverse in these readings. Something coming to the surface. Pisces energy. Somebody opening up or an illusion being seen clearly. We are going to clarify all of these, but I'm sending them down. And five of pentacles reverse. So someone wanting to come out of the cold no longer struggle okay so what's going on in this connection what are the mutual energies here between virgo and this other person's spirit seven of cups reversed options a choice being made hmm What are the mutual energies in this connection? Ten of Wands. Strength reverse. Someone's... Hmm. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles reverse again. So this is causing delays. Some sort of burden or obligation. Maybe um, a lack of courage. Be dealing with a Leo here does not have to be I'm just mentioning the signs seven of cups reverse this is about choices but it could also mean making the wrong choice if you're not careful if your intuition isn't strong or if you're just getting carried away with illusions or fantasies so let's clarify before I get into what this might be let's ask spirit Great. Help me clarify these energies for Virgo. What do we need to know for Virgo? I feel like victory, blossoming abundance, this is like... It's almost like um, eventually that's where this is going to end up. But maybe it's going to take some some stumbles along the way let's see tell me about this seven of cups reverse for Virgo please the lovers Gemini energy this is definitely about a choice someone has made a choice in partner or a choice where they've had to think more with their head or with their heart here Tell me more about this Seven of Cups reverse. King of Wands reverse Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. I said King of Wands reverse. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles reversed again. Third deck that I use of the Ten of Pentacles is reverse. And I see it. So this is this is a very important aspect of this. And I have the King of Pentacles reversed. One of you could be married. Or both. There's marriage involved here. Some sort of long-term commitment where someone is a provider. I feel like someone's making a choice about a commitment and I feel like it might be you Virgo because I have you on this side 
here with the higher font. But I also have the Ten of Pentacles on this other person's side. So it could be either of you or both of you. Maybe you're thinking about the fact that this is a commitment that's in the way or they are. Regardless, there's a choice that someone's making and the King of Wands reverse, I feel like there's going to be pushback on that choice. And it's almost like it's going to be draining fighting this or dealing with this. There's the Ten of Wands here as well. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Virgo, please? The Empress reversed and the Five of Wands reversed. So I feel like this is this is overcoming the conflict with possibly an Empress reverse. Or, again, Empress reverse someone very upset. Um, I have the Magician at the bottom. So it's almost like someone is still pushing through. I'm just getting that message. Someone is still pushing through manifesting abundance, even though there are difficulties here. Even though this might take them some time. Even if there are people pissed off, even if there's drama, etc., etc. This Emperor's Reverse could be the fact that they're not able to manifest something right away or an actual person. Tell me about Strength Reverse. And it could be that, you know, this is going to take a lot of strength and courage for someone. But again, the Magician. And two of one, uh, not two of one, sorry, two of pentacles. So this is definitely about a choice. There's a ten of wands again. There's a back and forth, juggling, a lot going on for someone. And it's a lot, it's a burden. High priest is reversed with the moon reverse here. Something's coming to the surface. It's almost also like someone's thinking, what's the best way that I can manifest this? that I can deal with this burden, that I can get to the finish line. The Ten of Wands is all about getting to the finish line. And I have two, eight, ten here, ten, ten, ten. This is about the world. This is about culmination, completion, the end of a cycle. So let's see. What are we both going through here? Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is like things not working out, time not being on your side. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Three of Cups reverse. Yes, there's definitely something here in the way. And interference is in the way here for you, Virgo. Or perhaps you're thinking about the interference that's affecting your connection here with this person. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Yep, Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is, you're not free. Eight of Pentacles reverse. I feel like there's something too where maybe you're going through some sort of difficulty where you've lost some sort of employment or, or have had financial difficulty. But this is what I'm seeing is you're not free of something. It could be that you are not free or single of like a commitment that you're in. Or perhaps this person you're dealing with is still in a commitment and that's affecting the outcome for you or something over here. Why is the chariot here? Cancer energy with the chariot. Why is the chariot here? King of Cups. Yeah, you're in love. You're focused. You could even be visiting this person loving them from a distance is what i just heard five of cups reverse this is about regaining something that you've lost in the past here so you're I'm, I'm telling you this is you being focused determined you're moving forward you're moving on towards victory in your mind your eye is on the goal or on the prize tell me about the higher font Queen of Swords. Hmm. Can I get one more? The Moon Reverse on your side. So you're both mirroring each other. What's this? Three of Pentacles. 
you're both marrying each other you have the moon reverse on this side for you you have the higher font your person has the moon reversed as well ten of pentacles reverse you have the chariot they have the world you know what i'm saying like there's a mirroring happening here where you're both on like focus on the same thing with the moon reverse there's something coming to light this is like some like maybe conversation has some sort of um decision or someone cutting something out and it's like it, it's out in the open a secret comes to light or there's clarity about what an uh, like a previous illusion or something like that um and this is about some sort of a commitment so whether this is like someone talking about this or someone figuring something out it's about a commitment and i feel like it's going to be like some sort of revelation or, or some sort of like announcement or something like that with the moon reverse so it looks like your person over here Oh my gosh, I was going to say, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse and the Ten of Pentacles fell out. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles reverse, please. The Sun reverse, Nine of Cups. So, you know, with the Sun reverse and the Moon reverse, again, something's not clear, not... Something's, it's almost like there's an, an uh, unhappy um, disappointment, uh, lack of clarity about a commitment situation here. Let me get one more about the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Cups is all about emotional fulfillment. So this is like, these two like don't go together for me. Another Ten, Ten of Swords reverse. And the Six of Swords. This is someone leaving. Leaving a situation... It's almost like they're leaving to get their emotional fulfillment somewhere else. Maybe there's some sort of commitment that is broken or ended here for your person, Virgo. Or perhaps there was an ending between you in the past, but I feel like this is something where someone's not happy and they want to be happy. So they're going to go where that happiness lies with the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Moon Reverse. Three of Pentacles reversed. Tell me about the Moon reverse. This is this is some very like strong third party energy. It does not have to be another partnership, but there is some sort of interference here that keeps popping up. Um, King of Pentacles, interesting. So whatever that is for you guys, if this is resonating, by the way, Virgo, let me know down in the comments how it's resonating for you. For some reason, this deck doesn't feel good why i'm not picking cards something is off oh, okay tell me about the moon reverse tell me about the moon reverse justice libra energy making things right a final decision a legal situation as well and the devil reverse yeah someone's definitely like breaking free here breaking free of a third party energy and I feel like this is going to come to light or is going to be like a big choice or a big, like, I don't know. It's almost like I'm picturing like a, like a freaking announcement on the radio or something like a billboard, you know, that's what I'm picturing. Capricorn energy with the devil reversed. Someone's breaking free and, and making things right, making a final decision with justice. Tell me about the five of pentacles reversed. Coming out of the cold, two of swords, a difficult decision, the star reverse, Aquarius energy. Someone could be losing hope in something happening, queen of wands reverse. Queen of wands reverse, queen of wands reverse. King of Wands reverse. Someone's dealing with someone difficult. Um, you know, someone that's not happy. Someone that uh, causes fights, arguments, maybe are controlling. And it's making someone else like have doubts, lose faith um, in the 
fact that they could ever have some sort of recovery or reconciliation with you, have some sort of victory. There's a lack of faith here. Someone's losing hope in the idea or a wish that they have. And that's part of like the decision making process. It's almost like, I know I need to make a decision, but it's almost like too final for this person that you're dealing with Virgo here. And so it's causing them to hesitate on making like a clean cut decision. Because this would, this would mean that they would break free altogether. And it could be that your person's thinking about you, what you're in. You know, like maybe in their mind, you're taking too long making a decision or things aren't working out for you over there. And so they're having doubts in the future of this connection. So let's see, what is the potential outcome? I'm going to be picking a few cards here. Potential outcome for Virgo and this person. 